Hello everyone, my name is Cloudy, and today I wanted to cover producing oil in Conan Exiles. I have built my PvE crafting town here in I-5 on the Exiled Lands map. It's a really great area to make a PvE base. It's pretty much got all of the materials that you could really ask for when setting things up. I am playing on my own modded server, so this is a list of the mods that I am using currently to build. I'll now do a quick flyover and walkthrough of this pretty little Oasis oil producing facility. Then I'll get into some gameplay of how we can go about acquiring the materials that we need to make hardened leather with this oil that we are making. Alright, so I'm walking through my purge base at the moment, and if you like doing the purges like I do, you're going to want to outfit a lot of your thralls with different armors, and it's going to quickly start requiring a bunch of leather. So that's why I wanted to make today's video to kind of show you guys a really quick and easy way to obtain a bunch of oil to go about making hardened leather. So you can go um, and start making different gear for all of the, you know, the thralls that you obtain in different ways in this game. I do have a carpenter's workbench here as I found it's convenient to add to this build as the trees in this area are all in close proximity. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the build. I absolutely love the elevators in this game and positioning it right on top of the waterfall to create this beautiful visual as we descend to the second level is, is perfect. I recently also found out that you can create accent lighting by placing different dyes into radium torches. It goes such a long way in helping to set a tone for whatever kind of build that you're imagining. I use hatch door frames here to give access to the fish traps I've placed in the water. It creates such a cool aesthetic, almost like I've created a dam of sorts. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna go through my usual like weed gathering here plant fiber gathering. Essentially what I'm doing is I don't really need the, the plant fiber. I will actually just throw that out. But what I do is I just go around and I am gathering the insects and the seeds because both of those are going to go towards us um, making oil so we can make hardened leather. So I'll just go around and I'll just gather up all of these plant fiber. This is a wonderful location for a PvE base. I do have my own uh, G Portal server, but I just pretty much play it single player. But I do prefer it over single player because um, the game keeps running. So you're 
when you put things into your workbenches before you go to bed or whatever, they'll just they'll finish up. Whereas like in single player, if you do that, you know, and you log off, it everything just pauses. And at the moment, I do have I have like seven fish traps, I think, in my build. So I usually want to get about 700 of the insects. And then that way I can refill my traps. Like I said, you get tons of plant fiber. There is a way to turn plant fiber into seeds also by um, placing it into a drying rack. But it takes very long and it requires a large amount of bark um, since I've been testing that out. So I don't know if that's the best way to go about it. I could just go around and I could, I could use a pickaxe on all these like, trees and then you're going to get bark. So y you could do that, but I usually just skip it. I just tend to go after the insects to get the fish and then the seeds. And, and that's pretty sufficient. You can tell just like as I run around here and I gather up all the plants that are in this area, it gives me quite a bit. And then I can just dump it into my production facility over here and then just go about my way, go back and adventure or whatever I feel like doing that day. So let's take these over here and we'll put them, we'll gather up our fish. You can see that I have already filled this up this morning, so we won't have to do it. But every single one of these, I put a hundred insects in and I just let it run until it fills up all the fish. I gather up all the fish and then take it down to our oil presses. Um, so right now I will just put all of the insects in this refrigerator because it'll keep them from expiring. I do play with the expertise maxed out because I am a hoarder and I carry a billion things in my bag as you can see. So uh, it's not really an option for me to play it any other way. I know I just threw out my all that plant fiber but I don't quite need it. Okay so let's go over here let's dump. We didn't grab any fish but this is the one I put my seeds in. So we'll drop the seeds in here. That'll start making oil as you can see down here. And then this one over here is where I have all the fish. <clears throat> so I would just throw the fish in there. We have some oil going, so we'll grab some of this oil. And then let's go back up to our build. Or I mean, <laughs> let's go back up to our town up here. Okay, so what you guys can see right here is I have a few thralls. These are all named thralls that I've got in um, the purge. And none of them are geared or leveled up yet. So what I do is they're kind of standing here in line, right? And I'm going to make armor for them. See, my armor's right here. But I need to get more hardened leather so I can make their sets, right? So here's our um, an tanner table. And let's drop our oil into there. And then so your thrall can make you hardened leather right here. So you need five leather, two thick leather, two alchemical base, and five oil. And it looks like I'm missing leather, so we'll grab it off of this one. I'm going to need to go get some regular leather. Actually, now that I see that, that will be today's adventure, I, I guess. But yeah, so there you go. So and then we'll just keep crafting this but that's a that's a really good way to, about going and getting oil it's very easy you can kind of create like a pretty build and it allows you to just keep you know making gears so you can have a bunch of different thralls for different different things in the game but yeah guys that's that's uh that's kind of what i've been messing around with so far in this playthrough that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and were possibly able to learn some info or gain some inspiration for your builds on your own playthrough. If you liked today's episode, throw a like down below. It totally helps me out. But with that, I will see you guys on the next one. See ya.